Good afternoon. We are here, another living room conversation Bible study here with my good friend, my sister, Elja Sawyer, one of the most dedicated, the one of the most I, I, I take what she said in the heart because the Lord has, has kind of got her and myself and co-pastor in the same vein mm -hmm. when it comes down to um, especially prophetics and prophetic protocol and, and, and the realm in which those uh, gifts operate. So she is one that I, I trust that she has been through so much. She has mm -hmm. come up in the ranks. She has seen some things and she always is advising us and you know, just putting things in our ear and praying for us. She has a heart for God and she has a heart for God's people. She's always giving something. If it ain't nothing but a card, that means so much just to encourage us on the ways. So I want to say welcome. Thank, Thank you, you for pass. coming and agreeing Thank to this. Pass. And uh, what we're going to talk about today in our living room conversation, the Lord had put it in my heart. And so therefore, and to bring her into this particular topic, because um, there's some things that, you know, I'm pretty sure he want her to bring out yeah. that um, we possibly don't know or, or had no idea. of. So our topic is getting the best out of a bad situation and what timing huh amen, what time perfect time <laughs> amen perfect so time. um to start this off i'm gonna go into the book of revelation chapter 2 and i'm gonna read verses 12 through 17 and then just comment on that and then you go ahead and amen. say what the lord is saying to you how he amen. how he's giving it amen. to you because you know we are in a time sis that you know all every situation yes. seems critically bad or, or contrary, you know. Yeah. And so, but we know where we stand yeah. and we know yeah. what God is able to do. How, how many he's times He's come through for us, right? Amen. Say that again. Amen. He what? He's got it. He's got it. He's Amen. Got it. He's got it. Amen. So I'm gonna read this uh, out of Revelation okay. chapter two, and uh, I'm sorry, verse twelve, and it's to the church at Pergamum, mm -hmm. and it writes. First level, I'm sorry, let's pray. Father, we thank you. Yes, we God. bless you. Thank you, Lord. Bless us yes, as we God. delve into the word of God. I thank you for the woman of God yes. who you have placed uh, uh, in our midst, that you've given her and granted her wisdom and insight. And I thank you for her. Continue to bless her and her family and keep them. And may they never lack for anything in Christ Jesus, that we realize more and more what it is that we do have. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. The letter to Pergamum. Mm -hmm. And I'll be reading out the CSB version. So he says, this is Jesus speaking here. He mm -hmm. says, write to the angel of the church in Pergamum. The one who has the sharp double-edged sword says, I know where you live, where Satan's throne is. Now notice he's talking to the church. Amen. All right. And you are holding on to my name and did not deny your faith in me. Even in the days of Antipas, my faithful witness who was killed among you, where Satan lives, but I have a few things against you. You have some there who hold to the teaching of Balaam, who taught Balak to place a stumbling block in front of the Israelites, to eat meat, sacrifice to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Mm -hmm. In the same way, you also have those who hold to the teaching of the Nicolaitans, mm -hmm. Therefore, repent. Otherwise, I will come to you quickly and fight against them yes. with the sword of my mouth. Anyone who has an ear should listen to what the Spirit says to the churches. I will give the victor some of the hidden manna. I will also give him a white stone. And on the stone, a new name is inscribed that no one knows except the one who receives it. Mm -hmm. Now, this lets me know Jesus is speaking to this church yes. is in a specific geographical region. And it puts me in the mind of the climate that we are in today. We're strategically placed here in, in, in America, in North Carolina. But he said, you, the church, he said, you sit where Satan's throne is. You always sit in throne is. Yes. And it's amazing. God, God knows what we're up he against. Knows. He knows what we're faced with. And it's a bad situation. But he said, Amen. but hold on to my name. Amen. He said, he commended them. He said, you hold on to my name and do not deny the, your faith in me. Mm -hmm. and But he says, one thing that catches my eye, he said, I have a few things against you. Yes. He said, yes. you have some there who are in your midst in this particular church. 
group that hold on to false teachings. False teaching. And um, <clears throat> he said, so therefore repent. He said, change your mind. He said, tell them, change their mind. Repent. Yes, Don't God. hold on to that because it's hindering what I'm trying to do because you're holding on to false doctrine. He said, I understand where you are, there's plenty of opportunity for falsehood. He said, but being that you know me, yes. see, you have to understand a lot of times churches, especially back in these days in which Jesus said, was saying these people come out from the world yes. and they brought yes. with them all this stuff that they mm -hmm. had and it was just in them and it was hard for them to let it go. Mm -hmm. But he said, no, you can't hold on to this stuff. These are false teachings. You're not, you won't walk in the fullness of what I did for you if you hold it on to the teachings yes, that's yes. contrary to Amen. the word or Amen. contrary to what I'm doing in you. He said, so get rid of that. You're going to be all right. You're going to face persecution. Yes, he said, I understand. He said, because mm -hmm. of where you are. Yes. So you in an ungodly nation. Yes, go you have an in a nation that has rejected me, but I left you right there because I'm going to do my thing. Yes, you. Get the best out of a bad situation yes, by hanging in there, yes, holding tight to my name, yes, and we can go from there. Yes, and so I wanted to use that as a backdrop going forward of how where we at here in America and one of the um, blessed, what you say, privileged nations mm -hmm. in yes, the world. Yes, you know, we we're so privileged. And um, mm -hmm. even though we we have so much wrong, but no none of us can say that we're not privileged. More so, if we were to go over to those third world yeah, countries, oh yeah, exactly, yeah. you go over to Samaria, Ethiopia, you will learn to appreciate what well, you do yeah, have. Yeah, yeah. Even oh. though ideally things can be improving, which you know we we we're, we're trying to get things changed as far as race relations. Yes. But we're still not of this world. He got that too. Amen. He has that he too. He has that too. There you go. So I'm gonna let you go ahead and and, and give what God has given Amen. you. But um, know that going forward, all the bad that's happening, only us, those of us who's in yes, Christ, can make the best out of a bad situation. Amen. 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 So well, I want to say good morning to the pastor God uh, bless you. and co-pastor uh, Corey and Miss Cynthia Jenkins. Amen. And thank you for the privilege of being here this Amen. morning. Amen. And to God you. be the glory through it all. Through it all. And Pastor has touched on some of the same notes that I wrote. So that lets me know we're on the same accord. Amen. We're heading Amen. for the same direction Come this on, morning. And the subject we're dealing with is getting the best out of a bad situation. Right. And briefly, I just want to look at one or two of my notes, just briefly. Take your time. And I wrote a few notes on um, when we're facing tough times, mm -hmm. we have to realize that the mindset that we have determines which way in life we travel. Amen. Taking time to reflect on the situation mm -hmm. you are in or have been through mm -hmm. and how you're going to make the change right. or make better choices. Right. Sometimes... God uses our brokenness, mm -hmm. our hurts, and difficulties to be a work of service for his glory. That's good. So we have to realize in these times that we're living in, we need to count it our joy. Amen. Because he right. said in all things give thanks, all not for it, but on. in it. Because he's going to take us through those that name the name of Christ. Amen. And we have to see what his will is in this. Mm -hmm. Amen. Good. We must be totally surrendered to Christ first in relationship, Pastor. Come on now. That's because right. if you don't have a relationship, you're not going to hear anything. You're not going to hear nothing. That's right. Anything that's worthwhile with Christ, you have to have a oneness with Him. Amen. In relationship Amen. with Him. And it's not just about going to church. Come Let's on. clear that up. Is it about holding it's the not, Bible up? It's not about it? holding your Bible, <laughs> paying for what you pay. Then you got to let everybody in the community know what you pay. Right. You already got your reward right then. Yes, well, you boast about what you gave. Amen. So we need to be mindful of such stuff, right. things like that. Amen. And there's no, um, we have to have the genuine love for Christ and his people. Amen. Have to. And that means we're going to meet all types of people, Pastor. All right. Everybody's not going to have a cross on. Come on. Everybody's not going to be walking straight right. in a, a collar. Right. But some of them are going to be drunkards. Some That's of them right. going to be whoremongers. Some of them going to be this and that. But he said, when you name the name of Christ, mm -hmm. you will be that light that draws them. That's right. And then you start working with them, talking mm -hmm. to them, embracing them. We're talking about getting the best out of a bad yes. situation. Amen. So these are the times we're living in now. It's mm -hmm. particularly now. Particularly now. We're just supposed to use wisdom, mm -hmm. distancing from right. one another, right. 
But when you see them in the grocery store, mm -hmm. I've experienced the last couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. Be cordial. Right. You That's see right. an elderly person now, you know it's very trying for them. Mm -hmm. You see them in the store like they kind of pause about what they're doing. Right. You have your mask on or whatever. Ask them, can you be a service? Thank you. Thank I had you. a gentleman approach me one day last week. Uh -huh. Could you help me? Right. I had no problem helping him. See it? We had ideas and since he gave me the list and we went Amen. about our business. Amen. Amen. And, it, and it brought joy for my day. Mm -hmm. It filled my day. That's right. So what I'm saying, no matter what we're going through, you mm -hmm. still is a good service. That's right. Be Amen. available. Amen. I love to tell people, be available. Amen. That's important. Be available for whenever God calls for you to step out. Amen. That's Morning, right. noon, and night. Morning, be available. noon, or night. night. Be available. Sometimes <laughs> so it's just a smile. Sometimes no it's just off. a smile. There ain't no time off. There's no time Amen. off. Amen. Because you got to be ready. That's right. That's right. Because he's ready for us at any given time to call upon his name. Right. He slumbers nor sleep. There you go. Amen. Because if he did, God, we'd be done. Mm -hmm. We're done. Right. That's right. If he did, we'd we'll be done, Amen. Pastor. Thank God for the indwelling yes, spirit. Yes. Yes. Right? Because I know I call him times like some, some of you all would tell me, Miss Oil, you don't call me. Mm -hmm. But I call upon him. Amen. That's when right. I can feel like I can call no one else. Getting the best out of a bad situation. So he's always available. Amen. Getting the best out of a bad situation. Right, right. And just a few more notes. I wrote down, you have to make him your strength on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And you have to have that hope, Pastor, Amen. that Amen. no matter what it looked like from mm -hmm. the past, right. I can't keep riding on that. Amen. And church family, you have to forgive quickly. Quickly. That's because right. you don't want that stuff to take a seat in your right. spirit. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. How can I forgive quickly? Right. Call upon the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Check yourself, Lord. I thought I was doing this and that right. Mm -hmm. Check yourself. Right. Even if you made a mistake, he said repent quickly. Right. That's forgive right. Forgive quickly. That's right. That's and right. go on That's with right. your life. It's a process. Let me say this right here. That's so important. I'm glad you brought that point out. Forgive quickly. And people usually think that it's not really forgiveness if you don't feel like forgiving. And I have to tell people, forgiveness is a choice. Yes, it's yes. Just, you choose yes, to forgive. You might yes. not feel like it, but you choose to forgive. And yes, it'll be genuine yes. if you decided in your mind, I'm going to forgive. I'm hurt. And, and forgiving does not excuse the wrong that was done to you. It releases yes, you yes, from yes. charging people a debt for them owing you. Yes, God. And that is just so important. So I thank you. Thank God that you brought that up because a lot yes. of people are reluctant until they feel a certain way. Yeah. But hey, it, it, mm -hmm. it'll come and it'll go. But just make the choice to forgive. Yeah, the choice. And God yes. do the rest. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. And I want to also say, Pastor, that um, I had wrote one or two scriptures down about being, mm -hmm. we have to be able to be teachable. Folks. Amen. That's right. Whatever we go through, we have to be able to be teachable mm -hmm. that the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. can minister to us. That's right. Because we got our heads up in the sky. I'm going to have it my <laughs> way. And that's why I'm afraid with this going around right now at this season. Right, right. I see the people walking around unmasked mm -hmm. in the stores. Right. And I want to put that out there. Right. Please put your mask on. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Don't put your guards down. Because mm -hmm. this is real. Right. What we're experiencing. Right. That's right. It and is. God is faithful. Mm -hmm. He's a good, he's a merciful God. Mm -hmm. But he give us reasoning. He give us common sense. Yes. Right. So let's do what's right mm -hmm. by the land of the law. Do what they ask you to do. Right. Walk right. in obedience. Right. Don't put your pride in the way. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do what I want to right. do. Right, right. You know, That's it's right. what it's not only That's your right. safety, it's the people mm -hmm. you are around as you well. Around, you know. And and people have to have to do they have to research and find out what these things is, how best to uh like you said. Going into a crowd, yeah, you put on yes, that mask. Yes, nice conversation. You know, because you know, there's those things yes. like that 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 catches off guard. And next thing you know, hey, yes. we we done made ourselves yes. sick or made yes, somebody sir. else sick. Yes, so sir. you know, it's, it's not about people telling you what to do. It's you doing what you have to do you for do you yourself and others and Amen. your family. Amen, Pastor. Amen. So, Amen. It's so make it the best, getting the best out of a bad, bad situation. Situations. You know, like you said, you know the the. Following the protocol, yes. making the best out yes. of a bad situation. Yes. You know, yes. it's a bad situation. Nobody saw it coming. However, make the best yes. out of it. You know. Yes. And like I said, for my season with this, 
I was telling someone uh, later last week, mm -hmm. I'm enjoying this moment. Amen. And you said, Miss Soya, how you say you enjoying this moment? Uh -huh. It gives me more reading time to Amen. be to myself. Right. Where I wouldn't right. sit still, was so busy. Mm -hmm. And now I'm using wisdom, as they say, kind of distant yourself. Yeah. It gives me more yeah. reading time, studying right. time, right. focusing time. Amen. A long time with Christ. That's right. It helps me to catch myself mm -hmm. from the being so busy. That's right. There you being go. so busy. And I look at the children, mm -hmm. parents. I got to strike it, Pastor. Okay. Spend time with your kids. Amen. Perfect Amen. timing. Perfect to timing. grow with your child right. that you have not seen within nine months from school taking right. care of them most of the time. Right. And what I'm saying by that, get to know your child. Mm -hmm. Get to right. know who your child mm -hmm. is. The likes, the dislikes. Mm -hmm. Right. Listen to them. Amen. Grow with them. That's it. That's it. Amen. Spend some of that quality time right. with right. your children. Talk about it. So That's everything right. has a good part in it. Yeah. Even when it look bad in the situation, there's mm -hmm. some goodness in it. Goodness in it. You Amen. got to pull out what God put on That's your heart it. to grow Amen. from it. Amen. Because if I had not through all I've been through, Pastor, mm -hmm. I had to really focus. Mm -hmm. God, where am I going to get out of what I've been through? Right. What's the point in this? Mm -hmm. Angry for a season. Right. Upset for a moment. Yep. Feeling some kind of way, yep. as I can say. Sure. Yep, yep. But God let me know, I see you. Come on now. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Then That's I had to learn to cast my cares upon him, Amen. Pastor. Amen. And my relief within <clears throat> me just rested. Amen. It really did. Amen. You think about it, I've started resting. Hey, come on. That's when it. I released it to him, said, God, I know what I've been through. I had to check myself. Right. And first thing we as women must say, what did I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Men too. When someone walk away from us, what did yeah. I do yeah. wrong? Yeah. When you thought mm -hmm. you had it 100% going on. Right, right. But God knew. God knew it. He knew who would stay with you and who would leave you in what right. season he knew. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And a lot of times you you said something. You said, um, how was that you put it? Uh, you had to dig out the good and saw the better. And it reminded me of the parable when Jesus said that there was a man who went search for treasure. Yes. And when he found a piece of land, he sold all that he had and went and purchased the land. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. he discovered something. There was something in it. And yes, so sir. he let everything else go and bought the land. Yes, and he, upon his journey, he had the land. He had to go fast. He had to go slow. Right. He just discovered as he lived. Mm -hmm. And that's what life is about. We see life through the context or, or Christ is seen through the context yes. of the journey yes. that we're in. Yes. And that's what we're here for. We, we bring out Christ from the field of our journey yes, God. and discover the different things that he's mm -hmm. teaching us, things that we wouldn't choose to go through, but however, he walks through with us. No. Ain't David, hey, David the one who said, yeah, yeah, though I walk yes. through the valley of the no. shadow of death, I will fear yeah. the evil. Why won't he fear no evil? Because thou no. art with no. me. Amen. You know? Amen. And, and he Amen. said, it's a, it's a journey. It's a, I walk through yes, the amazing. valley of the shadow. See, the de it's death is a shadow. Mm -hmm. He says yes. the shadow of death. It's not Same it's not it. consuming me, but it so Same feels it. like it. Same it's it. dark. It's see, like, that's it. That's key. Same Seemingly, like you know, <laughs> it's going to take me out. Mm -hmm. He said, but I was feel able because he said, thou rod and thou staff comfort me. The staff and the rod of God, the rod is to... <laughs> Bring you in yes, when you get a little yes. bit too far out there. He said, the staff is to comfort you. Know that yes. I got you. I'm protecting you with yes, my staff. Yes. I'll beat it away yes. before yes. I let it take you out. Amen. And, and, Amen. and so that's so important that, you know, even in the shadow of death, those bad situations, those contexts that we wish we wouldn't end or we wish our children wasn't yes, in, yes, and things yes. of that nature. You know, like you said, focus. Yeah, focus. focus. On I turn back yeah, to the you. Focus. Amen. That's good. That's good. Amen. That's good. And Pastor, I just, you know, I just thank God for this opportunity mm -hmm. to express that it's not over. It's, it's a not bit over. Louder. It's not over. All right. Church family. Amen. It's not community. Over. That's right. It's not over. It's not over. This is just the beginning of phase two. Yes, Lord. This is the beginning of phase two in Christ. 
to waken us. To waken us. That's right. We have to be wakened right. now in this season. Come on. Because Ooh. he has a plan. Right. And we can't be messy. Right. In ourselves. That's right. That's right. There you go. We are messing in ourselves right. with what we want. Uh, we're so busy looking at the sports right. athletes mm -hmm. and the Facebook mm -hmm. and all of that. Don't mm -hmm. get me wrong. It has its place. Right. But nothing. Be consumed with it. Nothing stands higher than Jesus Christ in relationship. Come on, that's good. That's good. Nothing stands higher. And um, you 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 saying you bringing out so many good points. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to pinpoint one to 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 expound on. But this, I, I'm glad you're, you're saying everything that mm -hmm. you're saying. This is God ordained, and He, you, I see Him through you, mm -hmm. telling us to rest, relax with Him, mm -hmm. and not the, the the commonality of the rush of every day that we're so used to. We don't even know we're rushing. We and the, and, and we become impatient by our very rush. Yes. The, yes. The, the backdrop or the the fruit of our rushing mentality is that we have no patience. Yes. Or we not, not not that we don't have patience, but we don't access the patience that we have yes. as fruit. Yes. You know, and it's because most of the time is that we so gone, gone, can't even process a thought before another thought to jump yes. in and we try yes. to do multitask yes. in our mind yes. that we don't rest in the reality of Christ. Yes. As I like try Amen. to do this and do that. And it can be a bumbling mess sometimes. And a lot of times he he, he knows how to get yes. you to sit down. Don't, don't yes, and perhaps <laughs> we learn that we stumble over our own selves sometimes. Yep. Amen. We're Amen. so busy and wanting to think we have to do this, mm -hmm. be there, or say that, be this kind of way. Right. But he said, be still. Be still. And know that I am God. Know that I am God. Sometimes you need to just sit yourself down mm -hmm. right. and say, okay, God, you and I. You and I. Everything cut off. Mm -hmm. Sit still. And I experienced the other week, mm -hmm. sit still mm -hmm. and just have your scripture. Right. Or just sit there and meditate. Right. Right. Just sit there and just right. rest. Yeah. And you know, this it's, it's so simple, but it ain't easy. Because we're so used to doing it. If we turn something <laughs> off, it ain't for so long, we got to turn something off. There to got to be some noise there. Yes. They got to, I got to yes. be doing something. Because yes. if I sit down and turn everything off, I'm alone with my yes. thoughts. And what I mean by that, I'm alone with my thoughts, is that, you know, we're long, we're, we're forced to face yes, truth. Our, our, there you go, our truth or our, our Christ. Mm -hmm. we, he going to tell us, he going to talk to us, he going to comfort us. Yes. But we're so busy, our mindset, that the flesh don't want yes. to park it and turn stuff off. I'm bad for that, especially with turning stuff off. Sometimes I, I catch myself, I, I need to turn this off yeah. if I'm going to study this. I, yeah. You know, because yeah. I can do I'm so used to it that I'm gifted yeah. at it. Yeah. That I can, I can sit and have a radio on or TV yes. on and I'm reading at yes. the same time yes. and processing. But it's not good. It's not good, but I've adapted, learned how yes. to do it and keep yes. that separate yes. from that. But it's still not good because yes. it don't have my full attention. Yes. Because yes. there's things in the background yes. subconsciously getting in that don't That's need to right. be there while I'm doing this. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's, That's great. Right. That's great. And Pastor, like you said, we I think we've all been guilty of that. Yes, yes. I yes. know I have. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times I say, God, and then I talk to him as I am his child. Amen. There you Lord, go. Lord, don't give up on me. Right. <laughs> Keep working with me. I talk to him like that, Pastor. Amen. Hey, that's your like thing. Like that by myself. I say, God, don't give up on me. Right. Right. Keep working with me. Mm -hmm. Hold my hand. Keep me going. Mm -hmm. I'm not giving up on mm -hmm. you, and I'm not going to let you go. And you know what he say? I got you, baby. He always I say, I, I got never, you. I never, I never. Leave you nor no, forsake. Never, no, ain't no way. He's a good father. He's a good father. He's a good father. He's a good father. Mm -hmm. Because so many times you can tell the natural mm -hmm. people, it all depends right. sometimes. Right. With Amen. us. Amen. And a lot of times I tell people the saying I have, keep it moving. That's it. That's your thing. It's not so much to be rude to <laughs> right, people. Right, right. It's to better for yourself. There you go. I have to tell myself, this person I can if it today. Mm -hmm. Or this way I'm not understanding. But I can't stop. Amen. That's what right. God has That's called me right. to do go. and to be. I'm moving forward. This because thing. they might be having a bad down mm -hmm. day. Mm -hmm. So I have to consider all these things. Right. Right. But I can't let that hinder my growth. Right. And me from moving forward. Mm -hmm. That's right. So Amen. sometimes the one that you're trying to hold on to, you might have to let them step behind you a little bit. Right. They'll catch up. They'll catch because up. Because you're it. standing right. praying for them to grow. Right. There you go. That's right. Um, I know this thought of Sunday when um, during the message, 
And I may mention uh, the trimesters and the birthing and, and the return of Christ. Yes. But, you know, I, and I thought about women. I asked the women who mm -hmm. about having children. Yes. But isn't there a thing that women, is, most women experience? I, I, mm -hmm. I, I read about mm -hmm. it, but not many women. I mean, not mm -hmm. every woman experiences it. Right. But there's a thing called Braxton Hicks mm -hmm. contractions. Yeah. That's, yes. that's not... It's not labor, it's pre-labor, but you're not going in labor, but it feel like it. You, that's where we at. That's where we at in society itself yes. before the return of Christ. We in the Braxton hit stage. Yes. It is preparatory contractions that will every now and then. Feel some kind of way feel, past. Right, exactly. Right. And and you look at all, all around the world, the entire world is experiencing yes. Braxton yes. hits yes. contractions. Why? Because Christ is getting ready to return yeah, you know we're side. not in full labor but we feel this it, it's almost yes. like we're in that third yes. trimester baby it, it, oh <laughs> my goodness and so uh, uh uh that being said it does that to wake us up yes. not the church but yeah the church too but yes. more so it, wake yes. the church up so the, the world, world church can tell the world tell the world amen <laughs> the world goes to tell don't the slumber world. you know and so, you know, that, that that's good. That's that, that's great. You, you know, know. And, yes. And I just look around. I be saying, God, do they see? Mm -hmm. Do I really understand what you're saying? Right. Because it's like we walk around. Mm -hmm. Oh well. Yeah. Yeah. You know, they did find the first month of the shutdown. Right. Everybody did pretty good. Mm -hmm. But as soon as they cracked that door open, mm -hmm. Pastor, that is. Yeah. It's yep. like, oh well. Nobody. That's, be, that's that's the trick of the enemy. Nobody wants to be told what to do in America. <laughs> Still be aware, right? That we're still walking through this season of the right. virus. Mm -hmm. We're still going through all these different riots going right. on, right? And some of them have good intentions, right. I must say, right. but right. a lot of them did not. Did not, and, and staining the whole movement, you know. But for two wrongs does not make a right. Right, I'm gonna say it that right. way. Right, two wrongs does not right. make a right. Amen. That's right. That's right. And we can never condone, regardless of who it is and who's doing it. Yes. We don't, we as Christians, we're not, we're not of this world. No, no. So therefore we don't condone uh riot. Yes. You know, we yes. all full oh. protest. Oh. But looting and rioting, you know, um, we, we don't condone that because we're not of this world. And uh, that's just simple yes. thing, death and yes. stuff like that, destruction of property. And um I, I understand why, but still even sitting on this side, I mean we're on the same side of the protest. Yes. Because we're the ones that need the justice served in our communities. However, still, God uses us kind of covertly. And what I mean by that is it's a kind of a military term that we're not, we're like undercover agents, yes, you know. Yes, and so yes. there's things that people, people, and people love to blame the church, don't they? Oh, yes. The church ain't doing this. The church ain't doing that. They're all watching us. They're all watching us. Yes, and the first yes. thing I heard when this stuff started coming through, where the pastors at? Where the pastors at? But we have been, pastors have been on the front line yes. ever since the civil rights movement. <laughs> pastors and churches. Yes. And, and, you know, and then you get these other, like, Nation of Islam and them, they're always downing the, the, the church and the pastors. But if it won't for Dr. King, Malcolm X wouldn't have had no see, platform see, to speak. And saying. those who are experiencing the freedoms that the church got killed and mm -hmm. bombed right. and, and died for, then they wouldn't have exactly. it. So we God moves us covert, co covertly yes. in this, and your prayers, my prayers, yes. reverberate through the whole entire yes. system. And the world don't see it, but once things are broke through, it is because we yes. pray. Yes. Because we pray yeah, to our Lord. Exactly, exactly. So we, 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 we do what we do because yes. that's who we are. And that's why I tell them as the ministry... I believe our ministry is not just in the four walls. Mm -hmm. It's as we walk day to day and be that light. That's right. Because when I tell them, what good does it do to tear up your community right. in this right. situation? Right, right, right. It's well, we need to do just be prayerful and let mm -hmm. them know, settle down. Right, right. That's right. Be still. Right. Once I say That's again right. and know that he's God, mm -hmm. be still. There you go. That's right. The prayers of the righteous are better than money. But we'd rather tear our communities down, mm -hmm. each other down. Right. And that accomplishes nothing. Right. That's right. Families anxiety, children anxiety. We have anxiety going all about mm -hmm. us. Right. Even the kids out there seeing this going on. Yeah. Yeah. Do we realize what Victims. that does to the children? It trauma, trauma. It traumatizes yep. the kids. Yep. And parents, you might not see it, but a lot of the teachers do. Yeah. 
or those that deal with your children. Mm -hmm. Some of them are so needed right. for stability. Yeah. Right. Because they be right. around so much negativity. Right. Yeah. yeah. So we're talking about making the best out of a bad situation. That's right. That's Do right. something positive around these children at this season. Right. Amen. Spend yeah. quality time. That's right. It's just a hard amount of thoughts about the children. Right. They're our future. We're right. getting older. That's right. That's right. And they have to be stable yeah, spiritually. Teach them how to be leaders. They have to be stable. That's right. I'm so totally some of us have to grow up mm -hmm. in this season mm -hmm. and let's do this thing together. Together. Amen. We have to live. You need help. Ask for help. Ask for help. That's what I'm saying. You need help. Ask for help. <laughs> Amen. Ask for help. Amen. That's good. That's good. Ask for Amen. help. That's, you, hear, you hear the rallying cry mm -hmm. Ask for help. of Elgis of Sawyer. You hear the rallying cry. So, um, you know, let God dictate yes. your heart yes. and how yes. to move in and out in this season. Because we we in preparatory stage, yes. Braxton Hicks of uh, the coming of the Lord. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's about to be birthed. But we we it take is. the lead as we always do, even though sometimes, like I said, covertly undercover. But yet we are on the front line. Yes, we're on the front line. So, yes, you know, right? and I say God bless the pastors because Amen. a lot of them might not be out there with the picket signs right. or on the on the mics talking. Mm -hmm. But we have prayer warriors. That's it. That's right. And they have to be. Setting up something right That's because right. God has held his hand back. Right. Mm. Can you imagine if he went full force in this mm -hmm. season right. about how we all with one another? Yeah. We'll be destroyed, Pastor. Yeah. We will be destroyed. But his grace is his sufficient. Grace, exactly. He he said I will he don't his desire his is for none to perish. None to perish. You know, he said, I come to bring life, not to take it. He said, however, you know, what he's how he's uh, dealing with us is is I can't have patience with yes. like God. Yes. Thank God I, I'm not God. <laughs> and I thank God that you're yes. not God. Oh, yes. Because yes. we make horrible gods. It's, yes. it's been proven throughout the years. That's why we we're fail. in the predicament we are we in. Fail. Because of man thinking that they're God. Ever since the, the kick, being kicked out of the Garden of Eden, he was kicked out because he wanted to be God yes. on his own oh. terms. That's not the will of God. And look, and look now, you know, you, you, you see all the things. We don't have to go through the gambit of uh, horrible things that humanity has caused, but it is a result of Adam yes. and Eve saying, this is going to make me more like yes. God. I'm going to yes. do it yes. my way. And look at the earth. Mm -hmm. This is not just in Kingston. This is all, all, all over. the world. This is something that's catching our attention all over the all world. world. It's, that's not a wake-up call. That's, this is a wake-up call. But with the proud of being, where they see it. Hopefully, we're praying that they do. The, hear the wake-up call. We're praying that it click in these leaders, these worldwide leaders oh, that they see. Pray for you them. Know. Ooh, yes, ma'am. All I say is pray for them. Amen. Amen. That's all I'm going to say. Pray Amen. for our leaders, Amen. those that's that right. have rule over us. Right. He asked us to. He that's because he knew what would be sitting there in those go. seats. There you go. And, and even Paul... And I'm 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 gonna leave it at this. You know, you go mm -hmm. ahead. You have some more to teach, but I'm gonna listen to you. But even Paul said that he said, "Pray for the kings and the rulers, like yes, you just said, yes. those who have yes. rule." He said because they don't bear the sword mm -hmm. for for evil. And I'm gonna tell you what he's saying now. He said, "But for good to bring forth the justice of God." Even though all throughout time we had we've had more. Horrible leaders and dictators than yes. we have those yes. who were, excuse me, those who were godly. But however, Paul said that in the midst of one of the cruelest leaders in his day, the Emperor Nero, the one who actually yes. had Paul's yes. head yes. chopped off, chopped off. Yes. Paul said, "Pray for him." Pray for him. He told the church, "Pray for pray him." For him. And he know this man; he's killing Christians left and right. Paul said, "Pray for pray him." Isn't that something? Pray for well, you. You know they're against you, Pastor. You know they're against you. They're coming me. at you. You know they're coming at coming you. Coming at you. Right. But who? Now you tell me, me our God is not good. Pray that for He would call us to such a task mm -hmm. that, you know, we couldn't do on our own. Yes. You got to have, like you said, you have to have that relationship. You, have to, you got to have it. You got to have it's that a relationship. Must. The indwelling it's Christ. It's a must. Amen. It's a must. Amen. So without Christ, we can do nothing. We can do absolutely nothing of any kind of significance. We can do nothing. Yeah. End of the day, we'll we'll mess it up. Amen. Look around, Amen. church. Yes, yes. Pastor, yes. Look, all I want to say, look around. Look around. Observe. 
through all we've tried to do mm -hmm. in the natural, right. we've not accomplished one real thing unless you have a relationship with Christ. There you go. That's right. All of us going to nothing. Going to nothing. You believe that's going to be all burned up. If it's not in Christ. <laughs> if it's not in Christ. It's going to be left behind. It's going to be left up behind. Left behind. And amounts to nothing. So, I don't care yeah. if you gave a billion dollars to some, whatever charity. <laughs> If you did it, if, if it's, yeah. it's not of Christ, it wasn't yeah. because of your relationship with Christ, yeah. nothing. You nothing. Mean, You've had your reward nothing. when you boast on it. There you go. You, you know. got your just reward <laughs> right there when you say, I gave this, there I you gave go. that. That's right. You so got we need to be reward. mindful. Right. Do it from my heart. There you go. It's like, this is what I need to do to help build my church yeah. or my community. Right. But right. once you boast of a thing, mm -hmm. you have got your own reward. Exactly. It's like you're cashing in your stocks too soon. You know, exactly. You exactly. catch it and you start too soon, don't have no value. But you got your reward. Yes. They say, Oh, look at that. Yeah. Thank you. You so nice. Yes. But that's it. Don't expect yes. nothing from God because yes. you catch that you stop yes. too soon. That's why I say be uh, we're talking about making the best out of a bad situation. Mm -hmm. I feel that right in this season, Amen. the best thing we can do be helpers of one another. Helpers of one another. Helpers of one another. another is what I want yes. to say. Amen. Amen. And some of us, we're going to have to correct some things right. with oh, some yes, people. Yes, yes, They're yes. going to feel some kind right, of way sometimes. Right, 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 Tell the right. truth to them. They, 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 Tell them the truth. Appreciate you better. Tell you them know, the truth. Back not in the moment, but over time, they get they'll over see. It. They they'll get see. over it. They it get over it. It's good. It's for our okay, own. So we just got to continue in prayer. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Loving Amen. our community, Amen. our church families, Amen. and most we got to keep that relationship in Christ. Amen. Amen. We have just a must. Abide in the vine. Just a must. Just a must. Amen. Amen. With that Amen. being said, God bless you. You too, Pastor. Thank you. That was good to me. Thank you these for this nuggets, opportunity. Amen. These nuggets of wisdom. <laughs> Getting the best out of a bad situation, yes, regardless sir. of how bad it be. I'll, my bad not be your bad. Yes, your bad may yes. not be my bad. Yes. But in Christ. He will make it work together for the good. God Amen. bless you. We're going to Amen. close out in prayer. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you for all that's been said and done. I thank you for this Bible study lesson and you're teaching us. You're showing us. You're raising up voices, God, yes. in this building, in this church family, God, that will speak your word, that will speak truth, that will speak truth to power. God, that will uh, explain the gospel. And most of all, that will have a heart to serve one another. And we thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 God bless you.